Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Topjaw. Now, this is the first in a brand new series for us, where we are joined by a very special guest for a tour of their three absolute favourite spots in their hometown. A bit alien for us, as Will and I have spent literally thousands of hours filming together, and so three is most definitely now a crowd. And who's the first guest, bro? So the first guest is the overwhelmingly talented British actress Nadia Parks, star of Netflix's new hit show, Half Bad. Nadia is going to show us her old trusty, something fancy, and her guilty pleasure. We're in the outrageously sunny Tufnell Park to kick things off. Here is Nadia Parks. Isn't she awesome? Yay. And we're at Nadia's old trusty to kick things off. What is this? Spread by bike. And what's it do? Food. Lots of it. So this is the first bread by bike. Well, the first bread by bike was the bike. Bike. The second bread by bike is this place. Big bakery with a little serving section where everybody can get their cardamom buns. No. no cinnamon, cinnamon buns. buns. Whoopsie. They do do cardamom buns. <laughs> they do. And they're hippie yeah. loaves. I love this place because it's so welcoming. Everyone here is so nice and the bread is so good and it all feels like you're kind of part of something when you eat here. Like everyone's nice, everyone's from the area. And also, and also, I think also is such a great word by the way. And also, uh, it's just like round the corner, super chill, mm. good food, not fussy. I love it. Look at the kitchen. Turn around. Cool, I'll tell you, right? if there's one thing Will really loves, then that's being directed. Oh. <laughs> so sorry. Bread by Bike has the name because Andy, the guy who started it, just started off an Instagram profile baking bread, delivering it to people by bicycle. It then turned into the place next door and he started doing things like a cinnamon buns. Fast forward to a year and a half, it's getting a little bit overwhelming with so many people wanting to have his bread and have things like Egg and soldiers. Egg and soldiers. And so we opened up this place to be the cafe, and here we are 18 months later to celebrate it with Nads. Yay! Yep. Oh my god. I still tie up my hair before like every meal because we had to do it at school. It's like a learnt behaviour. I'm gonna go and just grill cheese. It is an Irish cheese called Gubbin or something. Gu Gubby. Gubby. Yeah. That's really good. The egg and shoulders for me feels like. The egg and shoulders for me feels like. The egg and shoulders for me feels like. The egg and shoulders for me feels like quite a nostalgic yeah. childhood thing. What is, what was the meal of your childhood like? Something that it feels so nostalgic. Do you know what? It's aubergine parmigiana. Really. Yeah. Because of the Italian. Because of the Italian. And my mama used to make it every time there were like cousins or friends coming over. It was like, it was going to be a good day if we were having aubergine parmigiana. Oh. Welcome to the best cinnamon bun of your life. It was very good. Ooh. All right. That was very good. Check out Nadia's boots. Yay. They are fancy. And now, on to somewhere even more fancy. Where are we going? Norma. Fitzrovia, beautiful Sicilian style restaurant. Let's go. Is there a restaurant or a place that's fictional that you've seen, you've read about in a book or you've seen in a film or whatever that you would love to go to? Oh my God, I'm so glad you asked me this question. <laughs> Have you seen It's Complicated with Meryl Streep and Alec Baldwin? No. Okay, she owns a farm shop okay. that has like the most incredible pastries and it's so good. Right, editor, can we get some context on that? <laughs> oh. Okay, so basically I can make you anything on the menu. No. Or even not on the menu. 
Really? Mm-hmm. Just name it. Okay. Spot number two. This is the something fancy. Where are we? We're at Norma on Charlotte Street. Why? Because it's my... Wait, why? Because it's the nicest... It's the fancy place. Can I do that okay. again? Okay. <laughs> it's Norma. Yep. On Charlotte Street. And it's an Italiano restaurante. Speaking to your heritage? Yes. And it does good pasta. It's really nice inside. It's gorgeous. And yep. I really want a drink, so. Yeah, I think let's get a little loosener because... How loose? Let's see how loose we can get in two hours okay. long. Okay. This is a special occasion place for you. I brought my best friend here for her birthday. My mum had her 60th here, and my agent often brings me here for a nice lunch. There we go, see? It is the something fancy in Nadia's life. Cheers. I love Top Jaw. Whilst Nadia is in the loo, I'll uh, talk you through what we got here. Okay, so this is their... Um, ah, these are their savoury donuts. Right, we have anchovies and lemon zest. They smell so citrusy and fragrant, but obviously they're fried, crispy and delicious. This is their cuttlefish crudo, and this little cone of delight is their lobster and tomato arancini. Cheers. Oh, bloody oh. Nora. It's cheesy. Norma. Bloody Norma. Bloody Norma. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I've not got any room. I, I have plenty of room. I've got like a, you've moved into a house and you haven't even touched the attic type room. We've got canoed fish. Apparently that means when you take the middle bone out, I never knew it. Tomato salad, very Italiano. That's uh, Brussels sprout and aubergine parmigiana. That. It's fucking good, isn't it? Thank you, Liz. Thank you, we Liz. love Liz. I love you, Liz. <laughs> when you come, not if, when you come to Norma, yes, we'll make sure you give Liz a hug, okay? That's right, big, big tender hug. <laughs> and then I'll give you loads of free booze. Oh, nice. Oh. Alrighty then. I love Liz. I also love Norma. <laughs> I love Liz, Norma. Liz first, Liz. Norma second. Honestly, that was amazing. Wasn't it? Yes, it was, and I can't believe we're about to go to where we go next <laughs> to follow this place with. Is that good English? What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. We are still on Charlotte Street, but we just rocked into the nearest pub. Don't know what it's called, but we are here for one important thing. Shots fired. This is the well-known round where we do a shot and then I immediately fire some questionable shots at Nadia for her to answer in an immediate pace, okay? Okay, McDonald's or Burking? McDonald's. Sweet or savoury? So savoury. Paris or New York? New York. Biggest ick? <laughs> Tucking my hair behind my ear for me. <laughs> so good. One food for the rest of your life? Pasta. Really cool. Christmas or New Year? New Year, my birthday. That was it. That was the, that was the shots fired around. Cheers. I've got no shot. I've got my blinkers on. Like one of those sort of military horses. This is for me. This is for Jesse. No, what the <laughs> f And then this Will, looks kind of Will, fancy. you've not necessarily always got my best. Or does anyone want a beer? Sort of. I kind of fancy a beer. Huh? Well, Nadia the sadist has got you watermelon basil vodka spritz, which actually sounds delightful. Yeah, that sounds nice. And she's got me a wicked. Welcome to Nadia's Guilty Pleasure, and this is a f***ing good one. I was messaging Nadia about this episode, and I said, Nadia, where is your guilty pleasure? And Nadia said, the cookie dough at Creams. At Creams, not drunk. We're going to get a cookie dough. We're going to get it with milk chocolate. We're going to get it with white chocolate ice cream, and we're going to get it with mint Stachio. chocolate. Oh, oh OK. We <laughs> needed mint, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
All right, Nads, for people who are watching this thinking, yeah. Nadia is great, <laughs> of which, <laughs> which everyone will be thinking that, and they want to see some more Nads, they've got to watch Half Bad on Netflix. Yay. It's like one of the most powerful witches that's ever lived. That's just about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Training was going quite well, actually. How would you describe Half Bad? I would describe it as a like fantasy show that is grounded in reality. So it's, you know, fantasy in that we are witches, we have powers, but it's mainly based on like a world that we all identify with. Do you know what? It's, it's like misfits meets Sex education meets... Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah, it's a great way to describe it. Yeah. How did you discover the delights of creams? <laughs> I was filming a series called The Spanish Princess, which was my first job. And um, we used to rap at like 10 or 11, and no restaurants were open. But I wouldn't really want to eat the food on set all the time. <laughs> So I'd drive back to my hotel, and opposite my hotel was a Creams. So at like 11 o'clock at night, pretty much every night while I was filming, <laughs> oh, I'd eat a Creams, and then I fell in love with it. Right. And then I got back to London and started delivering it. That was Creams. This is a good night. And uh, welcome to Three's a Crowd, the first episode. I'd say Creams is a, is a good time for a late night waffle. I'm Jessie Burgess, and this is Top Jaw. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nadia, for your tour of your three weird and wonderful favorite places in London. It's been a pleasure, Nadia. Oh Thank no, you. guys, it's been a pleasure. Netflix, half bad, you won't regret it. I'll give you goosebumps, you'll really enjoy it. Eight episodes of the fuck good stuff. It is the good stuff. It is the really good stuff. And we know a thing or two about good stuff, don't we, Will? Oh, we do. Thank you very much for watching. We really loved making it. Hope you've loved watching it. Uh, who should we get on next? Can you like us know in the comments? Subscribe to Top Jaw. Press that like button. But before you do that, check out topjaw.co.uk where you can find our merch, our bags, our maps, our beers. I think that's everything. Yes. Thank you very much. God bless you. Good night.